joining us for Eco Company. The show that's in search of green teens and schools doing cool things for the planet. I'm Adam. And I'm Jordan. And this campus does not disappoint. Just check out their new state-of-the-art building. Jessica and Brendan are already inside. Woo! These things are fierce. These are so fun. And they're 11 times as energy efficient as your average car. On the positive side, the fuels for our cars are getting cleaner and greener. Hey guys, look what we found. It's a greenhouse and a garden. You don't see these on a campus every day. The students here are growing food that they can use on the lunch menu. It's just one way the school is going green. Hey, hey guys. guys. So this house was built for a big national competition called the Solar Decathlon. It's held every two years. And here's the big deal. They have to make an eco-friendly house that you can actually see yourself living in. Hey guys, welcome to Eco Company, the green show for our generation. This week we've got you covered with solar energy, better fuel for our cars, and a green teen who's helping to save the planet. But first, we've got food on the brain. All this stuff is making me hungry. We're at the Marin Farmers Market in Northern California. I'm Adam. And I'm Jordan. And I think Jessica and Brendan are hanging out over by those strawberries. All right, it's time to head up to the top of the hill. I can't wait to see the view, but first... Did you know that waves are being used to generate power in some parts of the world? Yeah, they're used to create electricity just like wind power. Those giant turbines aren't cheap, though. Brendan headed to a wind energy lab to see what they're working on. The park was the first in the nation to install solar panels, too. Solar panels are a great idea, but here's another one for you. Solar balloons. That sounds like it could be pretty cool. This is cutting edge new tech we had to see to believe. We're hanging out at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. If your campus is doing something to go green, we want to hear about it. Grab your video camera and start rolling. Create a video and upload it to our website at eco-company.tv. We've made it to the top, and wow, what a view. This was definitely worth the climb. Yeah, but I think we might have lost the others on the way. Well, they're missing out on this. Well, you've come to the right place. That's right, you're watching Eco Company, where it's cool to be green. Hey guys, you're watching Eco Company. Well, you've seen how this campus is going green. Let's go check out another high school to see what they're doing. And we found a marine world full of surprises. Behind us is the entrance to the kelp forest. It's one of the tallest exhibits of its kind in the world. There are over 35,000 plants and animals here. Everything designed to inspire us to conserve our oceans. I'd say we take a closer look around and meet some of the aquarium's special tour guides. That's pretty cool. So now we know how rainforests help fight global warming. Since we're on the subject, listen to this. These things have high-tech gyroscopes. They monitor your balance a hundred times a second. We're gonna take off now, but coming up next... Now it's time to grab your video camera. If you're doing something to help the environment where you live, tell us about it. Upload your videos at eco-company.tv. They could end up on the show. Well, that's it for us this week. Thanks for tuning in. A special thanks to the Monterey Bay Aquarium for showing us around. I've always wanted to see the warm-up of a big ball game. Hey guys, practice is in full swing out there on the field. And when it comes to home runs, these guys hit them out of the park when it comes to helping the planet. It's all about scoring big, on and off the field. At least 44% of marine animals have eaten plastic at some point in their lives. I met a group of teens on a mission to reduce our use of plastic and help the whole planet. Hey, thanks for joining us for Eco Company. I'm Jordan. And I'm Adam. And this week we're doing one of my favorite things, hiking through the wilderness. Let's just take a moment to breathe in the fresh air. That's good stuff. You know, this area is part of a green belt, meaning that all the land's protected. Jessica and Brendan have already hit the trail. Let's go. Being good to the planet is easy. It's about taking simple steps, like not driving so much. Another big way to help is recycling. This week, we're talking about your electronics. Hey. Thanks for tuning in to Ego Company. We're greening things up for our generation. And today, we're here at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. That's some cutting edge tech. In the meantime, there are tons of ways we can save energy and conserve our resources. And solar decathlon students on this campus are doing all of the above. Here, they use sustainable building materials like bamboo and recycle denim for insulation in the walls. And they just built another house. Adam's checking it out. Hey, looks like my friend followed me over here. We're back at the Rocky Shores exhibit at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And I can't wait to take a look around. That's it 
for us this week. Thanks for watching. And remember, whenever you visit your local shore, always take out what you take in. We're going to go join them down there, but make sure you check out our website at ego-company.tv. We'll see you next week. Let's go find out what they're doing. Okay. Domo arigato, Mr. Robot. What are you guys doing? <laughs> are you ready to join the Green Revolution? Going green just takes some simple steps. We'll have some ideas next. But first, creating the power of the sun and the stars right here on Earth. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's not. And it could create an unlimited supply of energy for the planet. Jessica's taking us inside a national security lab to get the scoop. So have you ever stopped to think about how much trash you throw away? The average American throws out nearly five pounds a day. A lot of that can end up on school campuses. We visited a high school where teens are on the case. And it's a good thing they have gloves handy. Being energy efficient is what it's all about these days, especially where we live. We ran into a group of teens helping homeowners green up home sweet home. Check out our website at eco-company.tv. And don't forget to upload your videos. They may even end up on the show. See you next time on Eco Company. Welcome back to Eco Company. Of course we know buildings use up a lot of our energy and resources. But they don't have to. It's all about building it green. All right, time for another aquarium factoid. During the day, the aquarium pumps in filtered seawater so we can see the exhibits. But at night, it's filled with raw seawater that's filled with food that fish love to eat. <sighs> I love the smell of flowers. And these are grown without chemicals, too. Just another thing you can find at your farmer's market. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Eco Company. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brendan. And today, we're coastside in Northern California. That out there is the Pacific Ocean. It's the largest body of water on the whole planet. It covers 30% of the Earth's surface. Wow, that's what we call a lot of water. Adam and Jessica are down on the beach. All right, class, ready for this week's pop quiz? It's on solar power. Clean tech is one of the many new classes being offered at different schools. It's all about getting teens ready for green careers. We may not all take the same classes, but one thing we do have in common? Lunch. My favorite subject. I thought I heard your stomach growl. Yeah, I could use some clam chowder. Well, then you'll be even hungrier after you see this next story. We're headed into the kitchen for more than just a cooking lesson. So here's the question of the day. How green is your school cafeteria? If you're still eating packaged food and frozen pizzas, you're not alone. But one chef is on a mission to change that. Saving the planet is easy, and we can all make a difference. You're about to meet one high school student who's proving that teens can help save the planet. And she's doing it one tree at a time. Here's another big reason to hit up your town's farmer's market, buying local. It cuts down on the CO2 emissions you get when you truck it in from faraway places. And so that also means you're saving energy, too. There are a bunch of ways to leave a lighter footprint on the planet. Brendan's going to take us to a place where sustainable living is what it's all about. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at eco-company.tv and upload your videos, too. We'll see you next time right here on Eco Company. So what happens to all that plastic and trash that doesn't get picked up? A lot of it ends up in a place called the Pacific Garbage Patch. It's a swirling mass twice the size of Texas. A group of scientists checked out the area, and you'll be shocked at what they found. Come on, you guys, take, a, take one. Get them while they're hot. It's Garlic Fries Central as we head out to the ballpark. Welcome back to Eco Company. Supporting sustainable farmers is just one way you can help the planet out. And teens everywhere are finding different ways to help fight climate change. And for one teen, it's a fight he's taking on the road. Are you doing something to help green up your school or community? If so, let us know about it. Upload your videos to eco-company.tv. They could just end up on the show. You know, the tough thing about going to the farmer's market is waiting to eat your goodies until you get home. It's certainly hard to leave here hungry. But at least we didn't totally break down like our friends. Where'd they go anyway? Oh my gosh, I see a harbor seal. Yeah, there he is. You know, one big threat to all marine life out here is global warming. Ocean waters can retain a lot more heat than the atmosphere, so higher temperatures could disrupt ocean ecology. One way to protect our oceans is to change what we drive. Adam's behind the wheel of a clean, green car of the future. Oh my gosh, the other day I saw this really cute pair of heels. And there's these pair of jeans that I'm dying to have. Oh hey guys, we can't wait to introduce you to Josie and Ozza. They're two girls who love fashion and the environment. Hey! 
That's it for us this week. For more information about the show, check out eco-company.tv. We'll see you next time on, on Eco, Eco Company. Company. So, y'all ready to go down? Uh, no. We can handle it. Let's go. <laughs>